I'm here with Derek Thomas, my future teammate at the Penn State University. I'm Stephon Moore and I'm interviewing my best friend Derek Thomas. How do you feel about your performance today? Well, I feel good in everything I did so far. I'm just ready to get to these one-on-ones and burst a couple of people. Are you going to show how the Nitty Lions really show off? Yeah, I'm going to really show them how these Nitty Lions roll. Well, it was nice to have you and hopefully you show how well you are. Okay. I'm here with Tyrone General and Davon Smith, known as Moo Moo. How do you think you did today so far? Man, I think I did good. I am <laughs> here with Dion Long, down by high school. I'm Stephon Moore, so we shut him down at Elite. Then go against that Penn State. But I just want to ask him a couple of questions. Dion, how do you feel about these performers out here today? Um, a lot of them are great, great speed, great technique. Been playing football for a long time, obviously. Um, Logan Hesse is supposed to be the number one receiver in the country. I don't think so. We will see today. I agree. We will see today. So far in your high school career, who was your best cornerback that you had went against? Stephon Morris. Yourself, Thank you. Sir. Thanks for giving me my props. <laughs> yeah. And I believe this is the best receiver I had went against, even though I shut him down. Thank you. <laughs> I'm with Tyrone Jenner from Eleanor Roosevelt High School. I'm in the interview with Stephon Morris, and I just seen him run a fantastic shuttle time at a 425. How did you come out here and prepare to run this great shuttle? I mean, I trained a lot before. I trained at my school with players like Stephon, Dirk, and Davon. I'm mean, just happy that the results came out good. And you also, I hear that you had jumped a 35 inch vertical, and you been at 5'9. How did that come at, the, at your advantage? I, mean, I just do a lot of squats, a lot of leg workouts to increase my speed and my burst style a lot. We will continue this interview after his 40 and after the one-on-one -on -one to see how he done. I'm with Tyrone General again, and who has just ran an amazing shuttle and who did a, a nice vertical. All right, today I'm here with Stephon Morris of Eleanor Roosevelt High School in the Penn State, part of the Penn State future. How does it feel coming out here today and see all these great athletes? I feel that all of them have put in the work, as I see. I have just witnessed a 405 by my best friend, Davon Smith. Oh, and they witnessed a great 40s out here. So, I mean, they just keep putting the work in. They had great results at that. Well, how do you feel about your Penn State commitment? I feel good. I mean, that's the place I had to be at. That's the place I, that felt right for me. So, I just think that me and Penn State and all the Penn State other recruits that have signed would be real good there. I think. Later on, national champions will be. Oh, that sounds good. Sound good. So, how do you feel about the recruiting class that's coming in with you? I feel great. I think I think personally that we had another one recruit class so far. We're gonna try to get Jelani Jenkins and Tavon. If we can pull them to, that's gonna be very big in our recruitment. But so far, what we have right now is the Nitty Lions, and I think we have at least about nine commitments so far. And I think those are the ones that we can go with. Okay, okay. So if you think you'd have performed today, I know you um, didn't get a chance to register. If you think you'd perform, what you think you'd have um, did in that 40? I think it's hands, so I think I probably would have put over 438. Yeah, most yeah. likely. Anything lower than that. A lot of your fans been saying that. Yeah, and we know you got some very powerful legs there, so <laughs> what you think you'd have what you think you'd have jumped in that vertical? Probably like a 38, to tell you yeah. the truth. All right, so we'll get back with you, Stefan. This Penn State online. We out. I'm Stephon Morris. I'm here with Logan Hastings from Great Bridge High School. I just want to ask him a couple of questions. And how do we feel about these strong competitors out here? And how do you think you will play off today? Uh, I mean, I'm doing pretty good so far. Um, you know, it's a lot of competition out here. So I'm going to do my best, you know, to see what I can do against them boys. I hear that you're the number one receiver and scout. How do, the, how do you feel about that? I mean, you know, it's just nothing but a number. I don't really look at it. So uh, I try to go out, you know, give my all. So. Is there any hope that you could change your commitment to Penn State at all? Nah. <sighs> all right. Once again, we're here with Logan Hayes from Great Bridge High School. I'm here with Ricardo Young from HD Woodson High School, and I'm going to interview with Stephon Moore. Just going to ask him a quick few questions about his vertical jump and other things. So how do you feel you did on your vertical? Um, I jumped 34. I feel I did pretty good. Probably could have did better. How did you come out here and prepare for a great jump? Um, I trained with a dude named Marvin Flowers. He um, trained with Vernon Davis, Josh Moore, a couple NFL players, and good things like that. So, for the I hear that you're a quarterback. So in the one-on-one portion, 
How many touchdowns are you playing to throw? Oh, I'm gonna do my thing, I think. <laughs> That's what I do. I'm here with Roman Morris, the father of Stefan Morris, the reporter. And I'm gonna ask him a quick question about myself and how do we feel about Penn State. First question, how proud of you of me going to Penn State? Well, I, I tell you what, um, you know, well, you're here, Stefan. You work pretty hard in the classroom, in the training room, on the football field, and um, you know, being able to be recruited by Penn State and actually to give them a verbal commitment was uh, pretty much one of the best things that ever happened in my life, other than you being born. Um, the tradition of the school, it's a college town, um, Big Ten football, and uh, you know, hell, I get my kid gets a chance to be coached by a legend. Um, it's like it was cream of the crop for me. Meeting Coach Paterno over the past weeks, how did did you shiver? Did you did you had chills? I mean, what was that like for you? Now you know what it was just a good overall happy day for 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 me because of the fact that you know uh, of course it's something for me, but when you look at it all, it's for my son. And you know what, for me growing up watching Joe Paterno, for my son watching Joe Paterno, and having him to be coached by Joe Paterno. It, it, it's a dream come true, you know. I mean, I, I guess I'm part of it as well. But you know, for my son to have have his life touched by Coach Joe Paterno, after having touched so many other great people, I've, it's a blessing. It's a dream come true. Well, once again, we're here with my father, Roman Morris, known the reporter Stephon Morris, and we just asked him a quick question, and that's all. Thank you. I'm here with Chris Lopes, on the reporter Stephon Morris from Chelton, New Hampshire. He just ran a four four six. I'm gonna ask him a quick question. How you prepare for that? Uh, I prepared just by running, uh, speed sled, parachute, uh, deadlifts, cleans, uh, just a lot of biometrics and uh, plyometric training. And just a lot of uh, running. I hear that you. I hear that you ran against the wind. I mean, if the wind was on your side, what, what time do you think you would have? Uh, probably four four one. That was my best time I've ever been timed at. So probably four four one and maybe lower. I was feeling good today, so. So, so far, how do you feel about the the Under Armour camp so far? I mean, I feel great. I think it's a great, I think it's a great advantage for kids to get exposure in high school and everything like that. The only thing I wish that uh, the college coaches are here so they can see us perform live instead of not being here and just getting advice from other coaches and everything like that. Once again, we're here with Chris Lopes from Tilton, New Hampshire, and he just ran a four four six, and we'll get it back with him later after the one on one session. Thank you. Oh. Once again, I'm here with Tyrone Jenner from Eleanor Roosevelt High School. He just ran a 4-5 on a slippery surface and with the wind at his back. How did you come out here and prepare for this? I, mean, I did a lot of running. I paid the lap for it. I mean, me and a couple of my teammates, we ran a 40, worked on our start and stuff, and it paid off. The hard work paid off. Once again, we're with Tyrone Jenner from Eleanor Roosevelt High School. We will be back. Nate. I'm here with Mike Spence from Nelson High School. I hear that you just killed this combine. I mean, with terrific times. I even heard that you had broke the record. Yeah. Tell me what was your time within the event that you had ran so far. I got a 6.59 in the shuttle. That's the record I hear nationally. Did you do the three cone drill yet? The vertical? No. The three cone is my best thing, so we'll see what happens there. I've still got the vertical. Okay. Um, are you looking forward to one on one today? Yeah, yeah. What's your position? Safety. Okay, so we're going to be looking for you. Continue to have great success. All right, thank and you. once again, we pledge you on how good you did. I'm Stephon Morris. I'm here with Sean Stanley, Gaithersburg High School, and both of us have committed to the University of Penn State. I mean, I hear you doing your thing out here so far. How did you come out here and prepare for this? Really, I just heard about this uh, last week. I just kind of did all these drills, trying to get better at them. Really, just come out to do the best I could. I mean. Both of us had committed to Penn State. What led to your decision? Really, when I saw that a lot of people from Maryland are already committed, that made it more interesting. And then I really like Coach Johnson. I think he can help me get to the next level. And then Penn State just felt comfortable. From watching your highlights, I felt really good about you. I was like, this dude right here is going to take Penn State to the next level. I mean, how do you prepare on the, on the field and off the field to do your, your be successful in your job? I just do everything my coaches tell me, work hard in practice and just try to apply it in the game. Once again, I'm here with Sean Stanley, the University of Penn State, and I'm Stephon Moore, who also will be his future teammate in the year 09. Thanks for having you.